Um, I also want to mention, we were talking about jobs. Um, there were a record six million open jobs um, nationally, according to the Department of Labor Statistics this summer. Um, so what are we doing in this legislation to help um, make sure that people have the skills to get that job? My colleagues keep talking about additional jobs. We have six million open jobs um, in manufacturing, construction, education, and health, um, retail across the country. And, um, and is it true that businesses, for example, their ability to pay for tuition, there's a change in tax policy under this plan for their employees? Uh, the exclusion from income for employees from uh, 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 education uh, provided by their employer is repealed. And um, if filling those jobs through investments that we made in skills training, um, would that have an impact on um, our overall economy? And would you look at that at a dynamic score about whether we were actually filling jobs? Uh, well, as I've tried tried to explain uh, when we do our macroeconomic analysis, we try and look at the economic incentives to uh, uh, supply labor, to hire labor, to supply capital, to uh, uh, invest capital, uh, and where and when that occurs. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I yield back. Oh, thank you, Mr.